So what we're looking at here is a common barnacle. It grows on lots of surfaces in the harbor. Microscopic images on board a bio buggy were next to the Taney at the Inner Harbor. Researchers want to know more about the organisms living in the water. It invites the public to see that that, that stuff that's growing on your boat, the, the stuff you don't want on your oyster cage, is actually doing a job. It's actually doing what's called an ecosystem service. It's clearing phytoplankton from the water. It's clearing the water up. Next week, the University of Maryland's Institute for Marine and Environmental Technology and the National Aquarium are teaming up with a community laboratory called Baltimore Underground Science Space, or BUNKS for short, in hosting a series of classes called Barcoding the Inner Harbor. Meets for two Saturdays, about three hours each, and it is a fantastic way for people who are interested to really learn from the ground up what's going on in the harbor, what's living there, how we analyze it, how to do the techniques, get some practice. This stuff is complex, but a lot of people there are very smart and bright and they share everything that they know, even if you don't have a super scientific background. The National Aquarium has been involved with the DNA barcoding project since 2016, and they look for changes in smaller life forms that might attract other animals as a result of things like sewer infrastructure improvements, the Healthy Harbor Initiative, and the aquarium's floating wetlands. Things like our striped bass, because that's our Maryland state fish, and we have gizzard shad. Um, with our newest floating wetland project, um, we have observed two river otters hanging around the harbor. Um, so that was a big win for us as well. So all of those animals really start with a foundation of what is first bringing the smallest animals here. To get involved in the project or other classes Bugs has to offer, you can find a link on our website. At the Inner Harbor, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.